in order to empower a person, first I have to know something about you. Do you have kids? Um, do you have a lot of friends that are married? Do you have or do you have a lot of single friends? That should tell a whole lot about a motherfucker when you and the motherfucker bitch got a whole lot of single friends. They're gonna tell you a whole lot about her energy and her mentality if she has a whole lot of single friends. Do you have kids? Young kids, baby kids. I mean, what type of kids you are? First of all, are you physically attractive? Are you emotionally attractive? Are you spiritually attractive? We do a lot of the females, and you know from. Seven seven is when they rate themselves, you know what I'm saying? Or would you rate yourself from scale of one to ten? And they, you know, delusional with that. What type of energy you have? No, but I'm gonna tell but my thing is then to power women on how to get a how to bust a nigga. But see, in order for me to cause everybody everybody game plan is gonna be different. They're gonna be different game plans for different type of women. Because if you got a, a physical attraction, Big Shirley, y'all y'all game, y'all can have the same resource and everything, but her game is gonna be different between your games. Because you look a certain way, because a motherfucker, a person is a little more flexible towards a motherfucker that got a certain type of look versus a motherfucker that's looking regular. Yeah, well, we know people's looks do play a part in the relationship. How people and, and mother can put pressure on your ass versus mother put not putting pressure. The motherfucker be more kind of turning head the other way for something that that's a little more, a little more different than they normally dealing with, versus a motherfucker old regular ass common ass bitch nigga finna go in, a bitch finna go in, but a motherfucker knows a motherfucker certain different about that motherfucker, they they gonna they gonna be passive on a lot of different shit, shit that they normally do they even do it on you nigga if you that person, niggas and niggas, it ain't happening homie. That's true. So my thing is, as far as me empowering, my, my, my show is called Big Daddy Will. As far as Big Daddy Will empower women, every woman has a different game plan. That's true. And every woman needs to be led. No and, and see, within relationships, Playboy, there's different what, what, what Big Daddy Will put into the table, bring to the table. See, the thing with this woman, you're not being led. You don't have no leader. You're just going off on feelings and emotions. It's like the pimp game. You need to be led in the right direction. Because when you look, because the leader is a form of protection when you're led in the right direction. If somebody telling you do this, do this. I'm telling you to pivot. I'm telling you how to step. I'm telling you how to move. Because why? Because you because it's benefits. Because you're paying me, so I'm gonna make sure you get. Greater, better results than going on your own. Cause see, when you play, you pay attention. When you get free shit, you don't play shit. When you when you get free shit, you don't follow through on shit. I'ma say it again. When us as human beings get free shit, we don't follow through on shit. And free information will be better than the paid information. But when you pay, you pay attention. When you pay. You follow through when you pay today. You follow through when you pay. That's true, boy. That's Regardless true. that shit work or not, nigga, you gonna follow through. I paid for this shit. That's true. That's real talk. That's I'm gonna I'm follow through. That's real talk. Right. You? Oh, so play boy, when you pay that money, you want to see it manifest. You believe in it, and you want to see it manifest when you get with that money. Yeah. That's one thing we all want to do, especially when we pay our money. Even though skinny can give me some free information, I ain't finna follow through like I would do with the pay information. That's real talk right there, bro. Because when you pay, you want to see it manifest. I'ma say it again. When we pay, I don't care what color you are, what level you are, you want to see it manifest when you pay. When you get it free, oh we, you you're not you you. Oh, I get to it, I get around to it. 
I'll do it later. You ain't finna, because nigga is free. And the information free, the free information can turn you to a billionaire. The free information can change your life forever. Because when you pay, you just pay attention when you pay for it. And you value it. And you value it more when you pay. It is what it is, come skinny. It is what it is. That's real talk right there. That's so, real talk here. Yeah. Like I said, man, it's all an exercise and, and life principles, you know, when it comes to the, the relationships of men and women. For me, it's just, you know, just a little bit more game to just, you know, put in my feathers and, if you're hanging around a motherfucker that you know you don't want to want, you don't want to be with, and what you desire, and that person is not capable of giving it to you, then you just know what you're looking for for the next person. Well, absolutely, absolutely. But all experiences, is, but that's what, yeah, that's what helps young skinny. But that's what help help advance people is your personal experience. Help advance you better than than getting game. Because, you know, because a nigga might tell you skinny, say, damn, everything skinny do is like, 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 you know, he's a golden goose. Everything in me, I do is like the wooden goose. Like, God damn, I, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, what is this nigga doing? No, because it's just the type of women. See, first of all, women women are attracted to multiple things. Women are attracted to the physical, and they also attracted to that mouthpiece. They, they got, they got, they, you got to be something that, especially if they're a type of women that always has a certain type of dudes. Dudes, you, it's a different type of energy. If you had, a, if you had a, a woman. Come across a woman always used to have a handsome looking nigga. She ain't looking for no hey, hey, hey. She ain't looking for no fat armor type looking broken ass, busted ass nigga. It ain't happening. Because that's that's not her get down. She's not accustomed to that type of dude. That's true. Fat and dusty and broke? Nigga, please, it ain't happening. I'm not on her watch. She'd rather just be a side bitch and just fuck around with other multiple motherfuckers than deal with somebody. Hey, hey, hey. It ain't happening, homie. And she can't get enough out of you either? Oh, nigga, they, it's not happening, dog. A woman has to be sexually attracted to you on all levels in order to fuck with you consistently. I'm going to say it again. A woman must be sexually attracted to you to fuck with you consistently on all levels. She's not, if she's not sexually attracted to you, nigga, she's just not fucking with you just, on, just because. If she's not sexually attracted to you. Oh, you're saying they make a lot of their decisions based upon sexual attraction. No, no, no. But see, when they sexually attracted to you, nigga, they, it's, it, cause the pussy is connected to the heart. The heart connects to the pussy. So they work off of feelings. It's a feeling nature. Women work off feelings, my nigga. You could be wrong as all outdoors, but they feel a certain way, nigga, they're going to let it ride. We all know that. Unless a nigga puts something in their face, that's different. But if they can assume some shit, and nigga, they physically attracted to you, nigga, sexually attracted to you. They go, they let, they let shit ride. Oh, he just being a man for something that they're interested in. Oh, he just being a man. Oh, that's what men do. But if nigga, something they don't like, nigga, they finna clown your mother. They gonna chop your motherfucking head off, nigga. Stab all four of your tires, nigga. <laughs> if they, you know what I'm saying? Cause woman that's in sexually into a motherfucker, they get niggas passes all the time. And they sexually attracted to you. That's true. That's true. That's real true. That's why these dudes do these ball players doing domestic violent cases and bronze is addicted to the lifestyle. And yes. Man. Yes, preach. They got that nice shit. They drive a nice car. They live in a nice home. What? They ain't what? trying to walk from that till they just, till they can't go no more. What? Preach, young skinny. Preach. What? Hey, yo, man, I've seen it. They gonna, they gonna suck that up. And they say they can get a baby or two out your ass and you still relevant in the league. Uh, after a while, they're going to leave. Once they surface, they're going to leave. And they're going to take, take you to the cleaner for the bag and the spouse and the child support. They're going to work the system. And they're going to have some what? Some financial support. Hello, sir, sir. They have financial support. Yep, you're right. Well, they had to worry about being homeless, sleeping in the motherfucking campers, sleeping in the motherfucking mobile homes of G-Rises, my nigga. But that, that shit work that shit works two ways, man. Cause sometimes they uh, by 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 turning this dude in and letting this shit get out there and putting airing him out. A lot of these team, these organizations, 
you know, some domestic violence shit, man. They not really trying to even fuck with you, man. Shit, just like, oh, this nigga bad for the team. He's bad for Oh, yo, the absolutely, team. absolutely. But at the end of the day, the, at the end of the day, homie, the, the women win more than the dudes. Women win more than men. Oh, no question. At the end of the day, you want to do the whole breakdown? Shit. Motherfucker, see, one thing about a man, a man, homie, keep it 100. A bitch can have a thousand kids in the house. Nigga, as long as we get them what we want, we give two fucks about her past. As long as we get them what we want in the moment. Hello. As long as we get them what we need, want, desire in that moment, then we give a fuck about who she saw earlier today, who she seeing tomorrow, as long as we get them, as long as we get them pleasurized. And pleasurized, homie, keeps a motherfucker coming back. True that. As long as you're being right. pleasurized now, they, if you was some bullshit and all that bullshit, that's when the nigga gonna pivot. They're gonna bust it. They're gonna get to doing donuts on your ass. <laughs> oh, no, I'm here trying. Coming back, bitch. Oh, I gotta figure this shit out, bitch. Oh, bitch, you too much. As long as it's pleasurized, like I say, homie, as long as 30 an hour earlier. Hey, homie, women know what to do. They get a nigga coming back consistently. That's real spent, man. That's all. Just to get them coming back. If you want them up and coming back to you consistently, girl, this is what you need to do. I need two hundred dollars for a game I'm about to give you. I need two hundred dollars. I take payments. I need two hundred dollars. I'm gonna give you this game for two hundred dollars. Time a thousand. That's a lot of money, man. That's a lot of money. So, well, they want the game. They want to empower them. Some people motherfuckers out empower themselves, my nigga. They need yeah. to know. They need to know in order to grow. I'm gonna say it again. They need to know in order to grow. Or they can stand on the, or they can, or, or they can stand on the, stay on the hamster wheel of uh, uh, misfortunes and disappointments. Yep, that's a real sense. One thing about life, homie, I learned, homie, you have to demand your value. Your bad, your your my piece ain't for everybody. But when motherfucker get to see them testimony, I'm willing to invest. Cause I'm telling everybody, playboy, you investing in you. You not investing in me. You investing in your life, not my life. Why? Because when you pay, you pay attention. And when you pay, you apply what you learn. When you pay, when you pay. Not me. Not, not let a person know that off the rip. Mommy, I don't give two fucks. Looking look clean as young, hey, looking clean as young skinny and, and Kevin Samuels, okay? Talking to my tonality. Not giving a fuck. I tell them not big a fuck. F U G G. Fuck. I don't give a fuck. And women like that shit, my nigga. They love that shit. They like that that energy. They like that that they homie. They say they don't. They say they don't like that towards a mother what they don't like. But nigga, they like shit, nigga. You could be the sassy, um, um. Arrogant, cocky motherfucker. They love that shit, homie. They love, women love being off balance, my nigga. They don't like knowing everything about a nigga. That's why they always cheat on niggas, man. Because they don't like to know everything about you, nigga. No. They know you're Mr. Nice Guy. They don't like that shit. They, they say that shit because you pay them bills, nigga. You pay them bills for real. They like that part. Right there. They want what they want. They want what they want, my nigga. They would never tell you, but we all know women. Dog, like I said, I was raised by women, nigga. My cousins, nigga, nigga I told you they had niggas for a thousand different things. They had niggas that peep the man, the fuck the man, the dick the man, the lick the pussy man, pay me to ride in the fried front seat for a hundred dollar man down Crenshaw man. They had um, they had the, the food, the barbecue man. They had the barbers, the barbershop man. They had the beauty man. They had the wig hair man. They had the wig man. They had the mechanic man. They had niggas for different shit, my nigga. And especially if a woman got a little look, they even got more uh, uh, more options than people. But I'm just saying in general, women got it like that, my nigga. Because the reason why, reason why men do what we do, because we assuming that we're going to get some of that pussy. Niggas ain't doing that shit for free. Niggas are doing shit what they do for assuming, for assumption. We do things for assumption. Assuming that we're going to get something greater later. Hello, I'm going to say it again. Assuming we're going to get something greater later. That's why we do what we do. Facts, Jack. Niggas ain't gonna be doing this shit for a broad nigga just because, oh, I like her. No, nigga, we assuming we're gonna get something greater later in return. 
But fuck that. We're going to limit all that shit. We fucking, yes or no. All right, cool. I'll get back. Chop and keep it moving. And men get to doing that shit, it's, it'll start awakening a whole lot of brothers up, man, where, it, where we won't be getting used and fucked over and fucked around. It'll start empowering a whole lot of men and women as well. So it'll make women step their game up. It's going to make men step their game up. Because see, thing with Kevin said, anybody, you can't be all things to all people, but there is a market. There is a market over a million plus of motherfuckers. People, let me stop saying motherfuckers, but people that, that I can empower, a million plus, five million plus people I can empower just with the games that I know. I just, I always kind of like, I'm an introvert, so that's why, even like other people are introverts, they don't kind of, but me, I don't give a fuck no more. It is what it is. I'm going to empower people, show women how to get a man. First of all, you have to stay in your motherfucking lane. Rule number one, young king, I'm going to tell you my God for life. You got, woman, you got to stay in your lane. If you, if you a woman is kind of overshaped, guess what? You have to, you have to mirror, I'm telling you, you got to mirror yourself. You got to kind of, you don't, or you like, oh, you kind of overweight? We're going to get a dude that's kind of overweight, a guy that's kind of, you know, and I'm going to tell you what to do, pour into this motherfucker, you can get this motherfucker. You want company, you want companionship, I'm going to show you how to get that shit, but that's $200. Put that shit, pay cash out that shit, kid. All right, let's go. All right, you ready? Let's go. That part right there. Because, see, as long as you mirror yourself, oh, that's easy work. But you trying to get this dude looking like this suit nigga, this nigga, he got to be, you motherfucking five, five foot two, weighing 300 motherfucking pounds. You want a nigga that's six four, uh, weighing 100, I mean, 220, bitch, that, ain't gonna, that shit ain't going to happen. Keep dreaming, bitch. True that. True that, true that, true that. True that, true that. See, women, uh, see, women acquire what they desire through their hot girl from, from teenage to 30. And they, they, they rule in the world when it comes to um, get having their way with men for the opposite sex. They rule in the world. When, when they at that certain age. Well, from 30 on down, oh, that shit, you can't, nigga, what? 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 Some dusty girls having it their way. You know? Fine girls, on different levels. Women are on different levels. Some of the fat girls, fat girls having their way. You know what I'm saying? They got a little cute face, but looking the like... Girls, the big girls having their way, too. What's, what'd you say? The big girls having their way, too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They having their way. When they had the certain age, they had their way. Because why? Because they learn how to pour into the niggas in a certain way. <laughs> they got their little pretty face, and they, and, they, and, they, and they pull out that sexual energy. Oh, they know the real niggas in. They learn. They learn that from a teenage age. They know the real niggas in, being sexual. Give that nigga a good sloppy toppy. And, 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 and they, they kick with you and slap that pussy on that weenie, nigga. They know what to do with the real nigga in. They know. Uh huh. You don't have to say, "Oh, girl, I need you to do this." No, I need. Then you don't have to, homie. You don't have to say none of that, playboy. You don't have to say none of that. They already know what to do. And plus, they and, and like I say, they all promiscuous by nature, dog. They promiscuous by nature. Cause they know when they when they get down, how they get down. They enjoying the pleasure that they that they that they have with the person, but they know his benefits come with it as well. Right, right, right. It's going yeah. some way, some other way. That nigga gonna, he gonna have some time. They gonna have some resources. And that's how they learn the game through their own personal experiences. They know everybody they get down. They ain't gonna be able to, to come through with no no resources, no rewards. But they learn as they go, and they grow as they go. And that's how people learn what works and what doesn't work. I know when I do this skinny, this works. When I do this, it doesn't work. So guess what? Shit that doesn't work, they don't fuck with it. Shit they know that works, guess what? They do it. They consistent with it. They do it. Give them that sloppy toppy. Give them that coochie oochie ooh wee. Guess what? They know they can get certain little things. They know they ain't gonna last that long, but they know they gotta go in hard from the introduction say to phase the black. They know they gotta go in from the beginning. Some women know that's they get down. Cause they, Cause they only could be from anywhere between ninety to sixty days. They only could be that care. They only could be the mass person for so long. They can't be mass forever. That's why so many chicks don't have a dude. 
and, and it's funny, right? Now, I listen to Kevin Samuels and others. They always ask them, bro, how long have you been in, a, in your last relationship, right? And most women relationships skinny is anywhere between three to six months. Why is that? That's a good question. I don't know the answer to that. Yeah, but I'm just saying the average, you know, because y'all ask what's that? They ain't been, they ain't been like a relationship in a long period of time, or they average relationships average last like three to six months because a person, homie, is only gonna deal with the good side of you. A person's not gonna deal with the bullshit side of you. And they're gonna drop your ass like a hot rock. A man not going to do it, and a woman's not going to do it. I mean, I'm sorry, I apologize. A male is not going to do it, and a female is not going to do it. They're not going to put up with your bullshit. they put up the good piece of you, but they ain't going to put up the bullshit with you. Right. Especially when a motherfucker got a particular option. Oh, I got to go. I'd rather go and fuck with this motherfucker. I know he's going to look out for a nigga than fuck with this motherfucker that's trying to take. I ain't going to say no, I just go to you. Thanos. Oh, a woman do the same, a man do the same. You know what I'm saying? Because because see that new person is entertaining. I already know what I already know what Jerry do. I already know what uh, Skinny do. Okay, let me play this motherfucker for a while. Do 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 do. La 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 la. Oh, this motherfucker pivot on me. Okay, they don't know nothing about Skinny or uh, Black, but guess what? <laughs> then they just ghost that motherfucker. Because see a motherfucker that that you know this. They call it this dating casual. Guess what? A lot of motherfuckers have the main motherfucker, a person that they're more interested in to you. So they know that new motherfucker's going to be doing shit that me and Skinny not not doing no more. Or skinny, a shit that me and Skinny not doing. So they're going to entertain that shit. Until a nigga pivot, and they pivot. And stand on your ass. Right, right. Okay. Yeah, that's true. You spitting facts today, brother. You spitting facts. Got it. You know, yeah, you, I, you. I know I know for me, bro, it's like, you know, this COVID is really teaching me about just patience. Just, you know, it's been, bro, you ain't got to be out here doing nothing. If it ain't happening, it ain't happening, it ain't for you. Why do something and you know it ain't for you? And that's what I had to, like, back up from. It's just like, it ain't for you. Because, like, I know my, my heart, if I was still fucking with this little Spanish bro before COVID hit on the pancakes, <sighs> I've been fucking with that. That shit worked. Nigga, it was working out perfect for me. Nigga, I did that shit for over a year and a half. Mm. No problem, no hiccups, just full mm. cooperation. Don't ask no questions. Mm. She was happy <laughs> with the little companionship, whatever she was. Get a little, little hair, bless her, she was pushing. And it's over in here. So we were like putting nigga in a whole different mindset. Nigga, I gotta do something. And we were like doing something that really don't add value to your life is a waste of time mm -hmm. it really was so you know like i said nigga, I ain't, at this point i done scaled everything back so it's more or less an exercise i'm just like okay nigga, just do what you do keep working keep grinding keep doing what you're doing and you know stay active shit. Mm -hmm. keep your eyes open stay active because i know you know nigga, when i see him i'm gonna go holler shit. you know what i'm saying and this motherfucker here is just, it's pointless. It, ah. it is, it's pointless. She doesn't, she don't understand me. Okay. I don't even think that, you know, instinctively she knows what to do. I've seen it. She's not consistent with it. There's no kind of consistency with it. And that's the whole key, my nigga. It's just no kind of consistency yeah, with it. Yes. And that's what it is, bro. Mm -hmm. You know, it is what it is, man. Like I said, niggas, all the work, all the work in progress, man. Exactly. But the, and also, skinny before we got this phone, what makes the game so cold, homie? You only can be with you only can be with one person at a time. That's true. I can't be with I can't be with two women at the same time. I can't, I, can't, I can't be sleeping in the bed with you and sleep with another one. And vice versa, you know what I mean? So, homie, the real world is the real world is the real world. Well, like I said, man, you know, nigga looking at 22, 22, 22, doing things differently and for the better, you know, because 
I got to get going, man. Like, I got my little email from the, the Tupac Foundation I was looking for. It came by this morning. So oh, good. We'll okay. Director, uh, in January, which is about two, 10 days from now. And uh, hopefully, you know, like I said, I feel comfortable with it. I was surprised they didn't reach out sooner. Actually, they did. I missed something because I didn't open up the email right. When they when a lot of times they send these multiple emails that reply to all. And she said her email had been sent there two weeks ago. I'm like, damn, that's on me. Mm. So, you know, that's why I need my assistant. Like, send that, have that shit run through you and then you forward it. Now I just, I get that copy because. She understands that shit. I'm like, okay, now I understand. I just learned something. So it's all good, man. You know, like I said, man, I'm going to do what I do, turn the heat up on myself a little bit harder and do what I got to do. I need this next year. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm not even sweating it. You know, I'm going to keep going out here because Greg, he pissed me. He's like, I said, bro. I said, man, I can't pull this Tupac piece out right now. It's raining. I said, it's not raining next week. I'm going to do something bold. I ain't going to tell you what I'm going to do. I know I'm responsible for the piece, but I'm going to do something bold. And because they don't think like me. I said, man, you know, nigga, you trying to get attention, man. You got to do shit. Think outside the box. You got to do something bold, man. Yeah, he's great. He's pissed. Yeah, he's pissed. No, he's not pissed, but he's just, he wanted, I said, man, I, number one, I'm closing out my business for the year. I said, man, I, I'll, I'll work on some marketing stuff next week. I've been sending emails out doing what I could do, and that's really it, man. This is not a, this is an interesting business because physically carrying pieces around, where am I gonna put this motherfucker at? You can't just ride around with pieces. I got some ideas right now, which I'm gonna load it up next week, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna see the Kings and them next week, and they not really open, but I'm gonna go there with a little letter and a brochure to uh, Luke Robitai, who's the general manager of the LA Kings. Greg did some work with him. So I'm going to go in there with my folks, introduce myself, give him a nice little envelope with a nice little note in there, and see if he'll reach out. Well, yeah. It's going to be, you know, I think I'll get some attention that way. i got to do untraditional stuff to get a traditional result, people to respond to the marketing. But I said, nigga, it's going to be kind of quiet right now for about the next two weeks, player. A lot of these corporations are folks. Just chilling, man. Uh -huh. Shut it down, you. homie. Shut it down for the new year. Exactly. I mean, like I said, man, I'm gonna get to enjoy the weekend. I got an appointment on Christmas Day. I don't know if I'm physically going out to see the dude. I might, because it ain't gonna take but five minutes for me to get a signature, three minutes to get a signature, brochure, and a receipt. That's it. You know, and after that, after that, we get it. Uh, this other fool was supposed to call me yesterday. I'm going to call him back. I'm going to take me a little nap in about 20 minutes, 30 minutes to get back up, probably make some phone calls. Cause one thing about the rain, nigga, everybody at home. Ah, you don't have to hang outside dancing. I ain't no liquor store hanging out. Oh, hell, I'm sitting on the crate. Tell me what's happening, homie. Right, let me get some change, man. Like, get me a little beer or something. Yeah, man. It's like, you know how that shit go, man. Ain't nobody out here doing none of that shit, man. Right. Man, you know. Well, they got all the Christmas shows on TV. They got everything is Christmas stuff. 